One, two, three, four, and they say I'm live. It's good to be alive. Hello, everybody. We're going to wait till some people get up here. This is Big Gene from Raw Deal, The Last Big Night. And now it's cooking in conversation. I got the first person in the building, and that's Starshima Smith. What's good with you, Mama? Ice, what's up with you, Q? Taj, I see you at work, bruh. Jim Parson, what's happening? You showing love from the Brock Toshima? Skinny Price, what's good with you? All right, let me do what I do right here. Stop this. Can I stop it right there? Did I stop it? I guess I didn't. Let me do it right there. ASAP the Don, what's good with you? All right. Uh, Y'all saw the title is 330 pieces of silver or $300,000. Pick your poison. All right. And somebody going to wonder why I picked that title. And I picked that title for several reasons. Is that a lot of things that's going out here today and we're not being aware of. We're not being aware of our surroundings, people that we deal with. I've seen people in this industry, you know, look everybody, look other guys and I call them their brother, tell them they love them, shake their hand, go around and uh, have sex with their girlfriends, their baby mamas, um, set them up against other people. So uh, we're going to be aware of that today. You know, I'm going to make some of y'all aware of it. I'm going to make some correlations on some of the things that happen in history. You know what I'm saying? Rallo Nuts, what's good with you? Smithway Company. Oh, and I got to give a shout out, y'all. Listen here. The House of Sofang. Softang. I think it's Sof, Sof, Softang. They make soap. It's, the, it's from North Carolina. It's the House of Softang. Softang, I think that's the word, how you, how you say it. It's S U L F. T A Y, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, you know, they make this charcoal soap and they make these sprays and these mist. Dude just sent me some stuff out the blue and I wish somebody get behind those people and make it available for everybody. You know, it's out of North Carolina. It's called the House of Softe. You know, that's how I'm pronouncing it. And it's crazy, something wrong with my phone. I don't even know why I'm not getting alerts or something like that. I guess I got to ask somebody. I probably did something wrong, as I usually do. Um, notifications, let's go to here. And uh, let's get on the roll and get this stuff together, man. When I named this show 30 Pieces of Silver at $300,000, everybody know, you know, this ain't going to be no history lesson or nothing like that. I'm going to bring it to the streets. I'm going to let everybody know what's going on. You know what I'm saying? The 30 pieces of silver, you know, was from Judas to Jesus. You understand? We got other correlations that goes on with that. You know, uh, we have Nicky Barnes to Guy Fisher. Nicky Barnes thought Guy Fisher or he got the word back that Guy Fisher and them was, you know, screwing his girls and people that he was dealing with. And, you know, he turned on him that Guy Fisher in jail for the rest of his natural life which is crazy. You understand? Then you got John Gotti, Sammy the Bull. Sammy Bull did over 57 murders. You know what I'm saying? And he's, they wanted John Gotti, so what they do? They um, use Sammy Bull, his best friend, his closest friend against him, he goes to jail. Some people, you know, uh, nowadays they'll say something about our poor and rich, how close they were. You understand? So it's it, it, you could use that correlation. You understand? You can also use other things that go down the history. And I, I wrote a couple of names down. You understand? And one of the, you know, one of my most popular was was I what is it? Atu Te Brute? Was it is it is it Atu Te Brute? I think that was the quote from Julius Caesar. 
You know, when the senators came in and said, I'm not here to praise Caesar. I'm here to bury him. And they all start stabbing him and shit. And then he looks around and it's, he said, I too, te brute. And Brutus, it was that, which means you too, Brutus. Brutus was his nephew that he adopted as his son. And he's stabbing him too. So, you know, you never know who is close to you would be the one to stab you in the back or who will be the one who have somebody else do their dirty work. Kenny B, what's going on? Rollo Nuts, Smithway Company, Lucky Lefty, 914, what's good with you? Canel Sanders, ASAP the Don, Paul M. Hurry Sr., what's good with you? Johnny Dangerous. Oh, you from Wellston, Johnny Dangerous? What's up, Playboy? Yeah, yeah. I grew up in Wellston, too, over there on Timberlake. Yeah. Lady May, what's good? Murder Mike, what's happening? Shout out to St. Louis. Shout out to Chicago, Texas. Shout out to Newark, New Jersey, Irvington, New Jersey. Shout out to uh, Brooklyn, the Bronx, Manhattan, Money Earning Mount Vernon. Yep. I don't know what this thing is doing. I, I'm, or oh, I don't know what I'm doing. I got a question. Randy, uh, SoCal, rest in peace to your uncle. You know, uh, who's that? Randy SoCal, rest in peace to my uncle who was laid to rest in June in Inglewood, California Cemetery in Los Angeles, California. He was 65 years old and had to shout him out. I miss, you miss your uncle. He had no kids. Yo, um, all people always say this too uh, shall pass. But when you lose somebody and they had a lot of influence and you loved them and everything like that, it's a difficult time. So, uh, Randy SoCal, we all want to send our hopes, love, and prayers out there to you and your family with your uncle. And I'm sorry to hear that. Uh, my mother was born on uh, June 14th and I retired and I lost her three years ago. So, uh, I know what you, and I've lost brothers and sisters, so I know what you go through when you lose people who you love and, and family members. So I want to give my shout out to you. Paul M. Uh, Hurley Sr. I don't know what you're talking about with that, with the ecstasy ring and stuff like that. Hold on, let's go right here. Yo, you say the Haitian Jack Rob, a puffy of his uh, Rolex. Man, let me just tell you something, man. How could Wolf be a gangster and under Puff is under his protection? You understand? And Puff had tough guys. Puff had guys around him. Puff had me. You understand? You know, I ain't claiming to be no gangster, but I can make one phone call to two or, two or three of the biggest gangsters in the city and say, yo, this happened, that happened. And they're, they're, and, and within a matter of 15, 20 minutes, if they took something from Puff or anybody around there, we'll have it back. That was That's been proven. Ask T.I. <laughs> That's been proven. So, you know, now nah, ain't nobody rock bra puff on his Rolex, man. Don't believe all those um, bullshit ass horror stories. That one night, 1911 routine. That's Detroit 1911. Yeah, I know what 1911 is, team. Roo-roo. Jed Jackson, what's good? All right. 
gonna let this roll up so I can see talk to some people right there and get this stuff going. Uh, but how y'all been doing out there, man? You know, in New York has been raining like cats and dogs. And um, like I told you, uh, I'm only coming here, you know, because I've already said what I was gonna say and talked about it. But people say they like to hear me talk. They like to hear me, you know, tell my life stories and things like that. So I'm gonna do that, you know, uh, I'm gonna do it, I think one, two more times when I go to St. Louis and I'm done. Uh, then when I come out with the book, it's going to be a lot of stuff in there that you're going to want to talk to me about. So then I'm going to open the channel back up. And I know I shouldn't let the uh, the thing go, but I got enough stuff on here because people come back and they ask asking me the same questions. If they go back and look through some of the stuff, they'll see that I've already told them those questions and everything or answered those questions. Oh, uh, Crypto Color Right. Lights, tech, everything you say about Wolf is true. <laughs> yeah, thank you, sir. You know, ain't, grown men ain't got to come to you and lie to you about nothing like that. Um, uh, I was having an issue in a situation with another grown man on this on, on the YouTube, and we talked amongst each other, and that was Mr. Skinny. And and when we discussed each other and, and had a words on the telephone with each other, we came together as men and understood. We had the same cause, and that cause is to get these brothers, these younger brothers out here to start looking in a whole different light so we, they can start taking care of each other and, and um, you know, helping each other, not stabbing each other in the back like niggas did in the 90s, like niggas did up in 2000. You understand? A shout out to Super Chat to my family, James Robinson. Thank you for that Super Chat, James. Good looking out, fam. Um, Everybody, um, appreciate that uh, a whole lot, man. Thank you. So what we talked about was the uplift and the growth for us as men. And I told Mr. Skinny, uh, uh, excuse me, because it's kind of far away from me right now. Hold on. I should have brought this a little closer. I just bought some new stuff in this back. <laughs> I told Mr. Skinny, I said, Mr. Skinny, listen here, man. Uh, I got something you want to talk, you might could talk about. Blood out. Never been worn. Never touched the floor. Just had, just took him out the box to show him. You got your, you got your sneaker game tight? These, these official Air Force Ones, ain't nothing bootleg about these. Everybody think this pony hair. Some people think it's mink. It's got that mink look, but it's donkey hair. <laughs> but Mr. Skinny, I want you to rap about these and tell these, tell these people how, oh yeah, I got both of them. I, you know, I got both of them. You know what I'm saying? Never even touched the ground with these joints. So, Shout out to Mr. Skinny in this program. Shout out to him and I talking and conversating and communicating, you know, like 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 grown men. And um, you know, I, I went on his show last night and he, you know, came at me with some questions, you know, like, you know, I, I was responsible for bringing the king of New York back. But people don't understand. I was per I was pup personal bodyguard at the time. You know what I'm saying? But I wish I could have did everything in the world for big. And it hurts me to know that I got in that car when I knew better. I knew better, man. I knew better. But I'm not going to, you know, talk about that. And, and uh, just a shout out to Big and his family. Yesterday, they uh, took his street and they named it after Christopher Wallace. You understand? And that was a good shout out. A lot of people didn't want it to happen and everything like that. But they don't look at the fact that the Kennedys was damn was bootleg and liquor. You know, well, he was a drug dealer and womanizer. So it was President Kennedy. And his family and them, uh, came through on, they, they did bootleg liquor during Prohibition. That's how they got their millions. That's how they got their money. You understand? But they want to, you know, say something about big and everything like that. You know, and you, Miss Social Butterfly, what's going on with you? Oh, thank you. Thank you, Miss Social Butterfly. She said she just started watching my channel and she hooked. 
but it ain't going to be around too long. <laughs> I'm going to step away for a while. I got to write these, get these books out the way. And that's what I'm going to do. And I think that you enjoy. I know they say they don't read books and everything, but I'm going to do audio and everything also, you know, so I can put it out there for the audio. You understand? So they named the street out the big. I seen a picture with uh, D Rock, C's, and Kim. Maybe they can get that shit back together. I know it never probably be another junior uh, mafia, but you know maybe something to go on. Alex, what's good with you? Ryan uh, Munez. Oh, I spoke to. I spoke about what I knew about DJ Cook, brother. You have to go back and you know go through that. You know, what I'm saying we already talked about that before. All right, let me go up here and see if I could see something about somebody else. Somebody else is saying something before I get into my little piece and everything like that. You know what I'm saying? I just stopped the thing and I said, uh, I too, I too, Brutus, you too, Brutus. You never know who's going to be that person to stab you in the back. All you cats out there, man, you think that you being in the gang and, and you being a part of – these organization and these groups and everything like that, and you putting yourself on the line, these guys are not going to be there for you. I was right there on the inside, and I saw it. You know, I seen guys come home, you understand, and nobody never took care of their mother when they was away. Nobody never sent them nothing when they was away. None of that, brother. You understand? D. Groom. Yo, what's up, D. Groom? Peace out to Germany too, bro. You know what I'm saying? Um... So nobody took care of their mother. Nobody took care of their parents or nothing like that. Or their family, their kids, and they was in the mix with these guys. You know, then I see some guys did come home and they get that one shot. And you know what I'm saying? And the guys don't mess with them no more. And, you know, they you know they have issues and problems with them. So when you sitting out there and you thinking these guys and you, and you doing things, you know, and you're supposed to be a part of something, make sure your paperwork is right. You understand when you you know you you interested in making sure your paperwork or you want to see paperwork. Make sure when you out here and you running with these guys, you trying to be in these groups, you trying to be in these situations. Make sure your paperwork is right. Make sure when uh, somebody's supposed to pay you your money, you got documentation say that they owe you that money. Make sure when you in a company and you in a group. Don't sit back and say, yo, when we make it, you know, I'm going to take care of y'all. No, nah. listen, here go put mine in writing. When you make it, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm putting my life on the line. I'm doing what I'm supposed to do for you. And I'm a part of that, that you sign that contract and they're going to be able to do something for you. And that's real spit. On that end. Uh, Mrs. Kitty say, yo, uh, uh, you just gonna say you didn't kill Horace Grant though. Yo, listen, Mrs. Skinny, when we was up there in Anderson Junior College, when they was recruiting uh them and then both of them went to Anderson Junior College, Horace and Harvey Grant. I'm gonna get on top of you on that. In the when in the summer league, they couldn't hold me. Neither one of them could hold me. And they were six ten. You understand? If you look at that tape from Clemson. And the third round in the NIT, what well, was it, third round? Second round in the NIT. Second round in the NIT, we was playing at Chattanooga. I told Horace Grant ass up. Dog, it's right there. You understand? It's right there. You understand? You could go to the archives and everything, bro. I got his ass. And, and I should have had these on. <laughs> Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And thanks for that super chat, Mr. Ken Skinny. I appreciate it, bro. Yeah. Shout out to New Orleans. Five oh four. Say me, baby, in the building. Was real good with you. Out there, King Crane.
Thank you, King King Kerry. You know what I'm saying? You know, I, you know, I know about speaking the wisdom into life. I appreciate that. You understand? All day, every day. Let me get this right here. Yeah, when I tell people that um, back in the day from the 90s to 2000, up to too far, when I stopped hanging out in the street, 2004, stuff like that, nothing came through this place right here without me knowing about it or having a situation and have to do something. And, and it's, and it's kind of um, ironic that, you know, I'm right here with you guys doing this thing right now and, and letting y'all know what, what was going on then. <laughs>